cancel culture, a phrase that gained popularity in the late 2010s which holds public figures accountable for their wrongdoings. Although to the core this may be a good thing, this dismisses one important detail. People make mistakes. Gen Z now has the urge to cancel anyone for anything. Oh, did you walk using your two feet today? You're an ableist making fun of disabled people. Whether it's a 10 year old tweet when people did not know any better, to an out of context text message, your whole career deserves to go downhill for these mistakes. I do acknowledge that there are people who deserve to get canceled because we shouldn't support people who are evil, but at least think logically before you cancel someone for a minor offense. When I think of people who are rightfully canceled, I think of R. Kelly, EDP 445, damn near any old Hollywood director, and Amy Schumer. Amy Schumer is not canceled. Wait, well, you're telling me people are still attending Amy Schumer shows after all those trash ass jokes. But today I want to take a look at people who got canceled for the most ridiculous ass things. I'm talking about things that people shouldn't even have looked at. But Gen Z finds a problem with everything. Now sit back and enjoy while I talk about some of the most ridiculous things that people have gotten canceled slash bullied for while I sip on some monster energy and shorten my lifespan. Janet Jackson, the Super Bowl controversy, also known as the Nipplegate scandal. To explain this crazy incident that happened at the Super Bowl, Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake were performing in the Super Bowl halftime show when Justin Timberlake sang. Ironically, he ended up getting her naked when he did this all a favor and ripped her bra off. I'm kidding, please do not cancel me. I don't want to make a second part of this video and include myself in it. You would think because Justin Timberlake was the one who ripped her bra off, he'd be more responsible for this incident, right? Nope. Janet came out with a public apology after this incident. Roll the clip. MTV, CBS, the NFL had no knowledge of this whatsoever. And unfortunately, the whole thing went wrong in the end. I... I'm really sorry if I offended anyone that was truly not my intention. Sound like a respectful apology for someone who wasn't really to blame, right? And what did Justin Timberlake's apology sound like you may be asking? Let me roll that clip as well. What occurred was unintentional, completely regrettable, and I apologize if you guys are offended. Can we just talk about how Justin Timberlake fumbled the bag by not singing, I'm sorry Miss Jackson. I am for real. That's all I'm gonna say. It would have went down as the greatest apology in mankind. You could clearly see the difference between these two apologies. But Janet Jackson's career took an effect that she was banned from her upcoming Grammy performance and Viacom, which is a TV broadcast. What happened to Justin? Oh yeah, he went on to perform on the Super Bowl again. Cancel culture is working magic if you're asking me. I don't think none of them are to blame, but damn, Janet Jackson caught astray. Mr. Beast. Wait, Mr. Beast, the guy who'd be giving out mansions and money for doing the most simple activities? Yeah, that Mr. Beast. That in itself goes to show how cancel culture is so goofy. He recently uploaded a video called 100 Boys vs. 100 Girls and posted the thumbnail of the video on Twitter. And how does Twitter react? In the most Twitter-fashioned way. Where's non-binary people? What if you're trans? Mr. Beast, buy me a Tesla, please. Wait, oh, that's just me. Honestly, after seeing this, Twitter will cancel anyone for doing anything. Oh, did you just sleep with both eyes closed? You're imitating blind people. Did you just not open the door for your woman? You're misogynistic. Oh, did you just eat food to survive? So you just don't care about world hunger then? Either way, this is obviously a dumb reason to cancel someone for the sole reason being they weren't being inclusive for a video that obviously shows boys versus girls. How are you going to be trans exclusive if the video shows no transgenders? Whatever the case, I do think Mr. B should be canceled for the sole reason of him not giving me a Tesla. Not very African-American inclusive, if you ask me. Alan Turing. This one is actually crazy in my opinion. If you haven't watched the imitation game with the actor of Doctor Strange or Benedict Cumberbatch, that's actually a crazy name now that I think about it. Benedict Cumberbatch, that just sounds sexual. But anyway, Alan Turing basically cracked the German Enigma code, which is basically a device Germans used to send each other encrypted messages during the Second World War. This shortened the time span of World War II by two years, saving thousands, maybe millions of lives. But there's only one catch to this. Alan was gay. And being gay in the 30s was equivalent to being a murderer, to be honest. Whole army was just asking him. Why are you gay? You are gay. Instead of awarding Alan for his achievements, they said, nah, let's punish him for criminal gay acts and put him through chemical castration, which is basically stopping sex, which made him more feminine. Imagine trying to stop someone from being gay so you decide to make them act more like a woman. Whether his death was a suicide or accidental, one thing's for certain, he died from a cyanide poisoning after reportedly eating an apple. Ironic since his favorite movie is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Bro got canceled for liking niggas. That's tough. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this wrestler is fine as hell. Unfortunately, this is one of those instances where cancel culture combined with bullying led to extremes. Hannah Kimura killed herself with the ingestion of hydrogen sulfide, which is a colorless gas. Now, the story of Hannah takes place when she gets offered a job in a reality show called Terrace House. And in this reality show, six strangers live under one house. Three men and three women all getting to know each other and dating. One important thing to know is that like all reality shows, 
this show was scripted. Hannah, being the former wrestler she was, was told to slap the hat off another man in the show. How did people respond to this? Awful comments, racist criticisms, and death threats for weeks. But over time, it went down. But what did this genius of a show decide to do? They thought it was a smart move to re-air the goddamn episode, which ultimately caused a breaking point in her suicide, all because of a scripted show and full-scale cyberbullying and cancellation. The show also ended up being canceled. Thank God. Rebecca Black. If you guys have been in YouTube for a long time, then you must have heard about the infamous Rebecca Black, who released one of the worst songs imaginable. I just want to know who okayed this song in the studio. She paved the way for future artists to release trash music with all the negativity she's gotten. I've never seen someone become so iconic for a bad song. Even YouTube did her a great favor by removing the dislike button. But lucky for us, we have the YouTube dislike add-on so we could check how much dislikes she's gotten. God damn. But no amount of a trash song should ever amount to the hate she got for Friday. She received death threats and a bunch of hate comments. Like, do you know how crazy it is to receive death threats all because of a song? Regardless of the matter, she kept the video up and sadly none of her new music is nearing any of those numbers. Although she has improved tremendously. But anyways, you guys see what cancel culture does? It creates an environment that punishes people for being a human that makes mistakes. You shouldn't put celebrities on such a pedestal and think they're gods when they're no different than us. And I know all the boys can agree with me. If the PlayStation chats leak, we're all getting arrested. Regardless of the matter, celebrities should acknowledge their wrongdoings. Supporters should encourage them to do better. And that celebrity in question will either a do better or b repeat the same mistake then that's when you should pose the question why the fuck am i still supporting this clown but none of these instances of things i've noticed should result in cancellation slash bullying anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like subscribe and make sure you turn on that post notification comment down if you know any other people who got canceled for no reason at all make sure you join the discord link in bio and follow me on instagram let's try to reach 3k subs hopefully and until next time peace